Alright guys, how's it going? So I received a comment on YouTube the other day and it kind of got me thinking, which can be dangerous at times. So today I'm going to show you how to utilise mat caps, I'm going to show you how to install them, I'm going to point you in the right direction so you can download more of these and I'm going to cherry pick a few really good YouTube videos that explain a little bit more how these work and lets you replicate the mat cap in a render. So in order to get started, what is a mat cap? A mat cap is essentially a material capture. It's a complete material including lighting and reflections and it kind of just speeds up your workflow. Generally you'll use this when you're sculpting. But it's always good maybe if you want to do something like pre-visualisation. So in order to use a mat cap it's fairly simple. You come up to the arrow here, you select mat cap in the lighting settings and you pick what one you want to use and that's pretty much the basics of a mat cap. Now with Blender 2.81 you can now add specular lighting, so let me just change this to something else. So you can see the specular highlights being enabled here. You can also control the cavity, so if you want to get this really nice kind of cavity effect, so it's dark in the right places, you can play around with the cavity. And that's pretty much a matte cap, there's no magic really happening here. And just to give you an example, it's actually an EXR file. Now these are generally saved out in a square pixel ratio, so it'll be like 512 pixels by 512. And you could actually, in theory, make these in Photoshop or Infinity Design or whatever. But the great thing about the Blender community is, they have a whole bunch of resources for you. So this is actually a file from Cedric, and it lets you actually create your own mat cap. So you can actually just work in the node editor, make your own material, save it out as an EXR, and then I'll show you how to actually add it. So let me just quickly open a new scene here and we'll take a look at installing mat caps. Now personally, the quickest way for me is just to go into the Blender install file, go to 2.8, go to data files, studio lights, and you'll see it here, mat cap. And all you do is drag the EXR into this folder. So let's say we're looking for more mat cap materials, where do we find them? Well, devtalk.blender is a great resource. Now this thread's actually locked. But there's a whole bunch of downloads here, so you can actually bring this down and you can see here, Dramatic EXR, so I'm going to download this. And I'll just save it straight to the folder. Now you won't actually see anything initially happening here. What you need to do is you actually need to restart Blender. I'll quickly restart Blender and I'll take a quick look in the matcap settings. So these actually go in alphabetical order, so Dramatic should in theory be around here. There we go. So the other method for installing a mat cap is fairly simple. If we come up to the arrow here, you'll see this little cog, I said cog, and you'll see it here, lights, mat caps, install. So let's just pick something on the desktop. And you'll see that this mat cap has now installed. And that's pretty much the basics of mat cap materials. Now I'm going to give you a couple of recommendations here. I highly recommend Mat Caps and Eve by Curtis Holt. That actually shows you how to replicate the mat cap effect in the render engine. And obviously you've got Cedric, and this is Blender, create and use your own mat caps, and it's in English. Now just as one last tip, if you go into Gumroad slash discover and type in mat cap, it's going to give you a whole bunch of mat caps for Blender. So I'll put all the links in the description down below. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do. Peace.